What's good, y'all? It's your boy Cam back with another YouTube video. And today, man, we're going to be checking out another Bill Burr uh, comedy stand, man. Today, we're going to be checking out um, Badge Privilege. Um, hopefully, YouTube don't um, strike me for saying it. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, before the video starts, man, smash the like button right now. Subscribe if you're new because we're on the road to 60,000 subscribers. And I really need your help to get there. So, subscribe right now and smash the like button, man. But, uh... Like I said, smash the like button and let's get right into this video, man. Run the intro. Damn, Kyle, you going off. And let's get it, bro. Let's see what Bill Burr talking about. What privileges do they have? Hmm, tell me, tell me. Let's get it. I don't know. I can get my act together, man. I'm really, uh, I'm really at a critical point in my life, you know? I am. I'm, I'm serious. I'm a, I'm a fucking psycho, man. I, I realize this about myself. But, you know, I'm not married, you know? And I'm really getting to that critical age where, you know, pretty soon I'm just, you know, I got to pick a street. <laughs> Either I'm, I'm going to get married, you know? Or I'm just going to end up being that creepy old guy <laughs> hanging out in a bar, you know, red chest hair hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with me. I just, uh, I, I think I, I just stayed single too long, man. It's just brutal. There's this critical point when you stay single too long and when your brain switches from, uh, you know, like, you know, don't, don't, don't say that. Eh, hey, fuck it, say it. See what happens. <laughs> Dude, and once you cross that line, this the, the, the evil that just, just opens up. It's just, you know. I don't know, you know what, I just find women that just like, uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like, I don't want to come up here like I'm some woman hater, because, you know, I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know, I just find them to be like relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up, they have an agenda, and so they're like <laughs> these psycho robots that never run out of batteries, and every day they just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. Right? You got to deal with that every single day. Hey, honey, you want to this And you literally, you know? Every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, just eroding a little more of your life away, you know? <laughs> just waking up inch by inch. You know, every day, just... <laughs> Why are you hanging out with him? He drinks too much. <laughs> Where'd you buy that? That's ugly. Throw it out. <laughs> so one day, you're just hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, well, just like floating there with your baseball uh, cards. You're waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets. I still like sports. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, honey, how you doing? They're not gonna like you for this one, Bill. No, I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn how to how to pick my battles with my girl. You know, that's what I am. You know, I used to argue all the time. I'm just trying to pick the battles. Some days they they come at you. You just, you just gotta let them go. You just let them go. Follow them to whatever dumb shit they wanna do. Like, hey, come get a picnic. We'll have a picnic. Bring the good bank and you fucking. <laughs> then other days, you just, you just gotta get your hand up. You just gotta just create this perimeter or something for them to bounce off. Like, <laughs> you, just, you just send that psycho energy in another direction. Oh. Buy yourself a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. They start coming at you. Go see my parents. No, they're relentless. They never stop. And there's no reason for them to stop. You know why? Because you can't hit them. <laughs> That's what it is. Think about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much of a, how much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? <laughs> Oh my Dude, gosh. I would be trashing everybody I saw. Oh my gosh. See some. That is an excellent way to put it. That is an excellent way to put it. How much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? Oh my gosh. That is. That was a, that was a beautiful analogy. Oh my gosh. Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. <laughs> See some big muscle bomb guy, hey, go to the fucking gym. Slap his protein shake out of his hey, go fuck yourself, right? But I can't do that, right? Every guy has a line, and if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face. Totally acceptable, right? Yep. But with women, there's no line. They can just keep fucking, just keep coming at you. 
do. They can do stuff worthy of like a suplex, and they'll just stand right next to it. They don't even have the decency to run away. They'll like light your clothes on fire. They're like, ta-da, I did that shit. Oh yeah, and I was so proud of my work, I stuck around to see your reaction. I invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, they'll like key your car, sign their name, Susan did this shit. And you're sitting like, now can I at least put her in a headlock, give her a couple of... Okay, y'all see you over here getting hyped, saying, like, he right. Nobody ever keep my car. I'm gonna just put that out there. I'm just getting hyped because he's... He spent facts. <laughs> for women that you, you never get to feel that. You guys should... Should do it to each other, you know? Just every once in a while. Just haul off and just blast one of your friends in the face, you know? It's good for you. I know, yeah, I know, it hurts, you know, you can't feel your nose, your ears are ringing, but I'm telling you, man, it, it clears your head, and it causes you to, like, evaluate yourself. I swear to God, any time I ever got punched in the face, I was always pissed, but at some point during the drive home, I'd always be thinking, like, you know, it's kind of being a dick back there, you know? <laughs> when I really think about it, I probably shouldn't have said that last shit, you know? And you, you, you'd, like, make that adjustment. <laughs> this guy's an asshole, I can't believe he's just gonna say this kind of thing. Actually, my girl punched me in the head on Valentine's Day a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, you wanna hear this story? This is a great one. Let this is how much it. of a dick I am, that I can actually tell a girl I love her, give her a card, and somehow at the end of the night, she still blasted me in the head, you know? Can't make this up. I can't even remember what happened. All I know is she said some shit, then I said some stuff, and she said some more stuff, and I said, fuck it, I'm going for big air. I said the last shit. And next thing you know, she just came flying at me, right? Fist balled up. <laughs> okay, and at first she was just hitting me all in here, you know, which is acceptable, right? It's a holiday, let's fucking keep it nice, you know? Let's keep it nice, right? And I gotta admit, I was blocking most of it at first, right? I was doing the rope dope I was leaning back, I was pulling her head <laughs> in, I was leaning on her, talking shit, trying to tire her out, right? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, she just went up top, fucking bam, it hit me right God. in the side of the head. You know what hurt the most was not that she hit me, was that after she hit me, she didn't have the decency to hop back like, like maybe something was gonna happen. She knew nothing was gonna happen. It's against the rules. So not only did she get to blast me in the head, she then got to do like this UFC talking shit thing in my face. She's pointing. Oh, it's brutal. And she started like, They're cheering, up they're some cheering stuff. in the no, back. No, of course, it was oh my all gosh. my stuff, and I'm just standing there, okay, don't look her in the eye, stand as still as you can. Let her calm down. Oh, that's great. That's something mine from high school. That meant a lot to me. <laughs> evidently not to you. It's funny. If I was doing that shit, I'd have a cop with his knee in my back, but evidently you have a vagina, so that makes it okay. I just have to stand here as you break all my shit. That's sitting fat, bro. I don't know. <laughs> it's gotta be me. You know? I get into too many arguments. I do. I got in an argument with this girl the other day. You ever meet somebody, like, within the first couple of minutes of meeting them? They, they feel like they can, like, sum you up. Just like, you know what your problem is? <laughs> and you just have this unbelievable urge just to take their head and just mush it into whatever they're eating, you know? And really hold it there for a second, you know? Like, feel the panic in the back <laughs> of their head. It's like the air bubbles become, like, less and less frequent, you know? <laughs> you ever have, like, weird thoughts like that? Like, just random violent thoughts, you know? Like, I actually had the urge to elbow an old lady in the face the other day. Why? No, it's unreal. I swear to God, man, I, I, was going, I was going to get off a plane, right? Let's see. You know the rules. When you go to get off the plane, it goes row by row by row, right? And this lady's all like, ooh, I'm 90. I get to cut everybody, right? So she starts waddling <laughs> around me, you know? I'm competitive. I start boxing her out, right? <laughs> so I break it down my luggage. I swear to God, I did this. I'm literally taking up the whole aisle. And all of a sudden, ah, I just go around him. She just starts waddling all around me, and then I just pull my elbow. Dude, you gonna take this shit, man? Come on. Dude, you got a wide open shot, you know? Just give her a quick one. She's not even gonna feel it. She's gonna go down, then you can play it off like, oh, was she with you? Hey, did that happen? Hey. No, sir. But I didn't do it, man. I got, I got my body under control. Like, come on, man. you can't do this shit. It's wrong. And I thought I was in control, and then she got like right about there, then I felt my, like, my foot going, dude, we can still trip her. We can still trip her, man. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. <laughs> All the time, I do. I didn't do it. <laughs> Somebody just went, oh, I didn't, I didn't. It just, <laughs> you never think.
think shit like that? You never just walk down the street? Thought about it, but I didn't do it. You just want to go over and just start fucking. <laughs> just shake it. Just to do it. Bro, oh my gosh. I got to see the comments of this video. What are they talking about in here? What's even more disturbing is hearing these women cheering in the back as he's describing their evil behavior like it's something to be proud of. Let me get, let me, let me go ahead and thumbs that up. Women are strangely absent from this comment section on these sorts of, these sorts of videos. Hey man, know what they do, man. But yeah, man, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, with a like, comment, subscribe, man. Bill was speaking facts in this thing, man. I cannot lie to you. Um, but yeah, man, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed, with a like, comment, subscribe, comment down below any other videos that I should react to, and I'll definitely check them out. Uh, subscribe, like I said, because we're on the road to 60,000 subscribers, and I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.